Uh, praise to the Most High, it's only begotten Son. Israelites worldwide, baby. Back on the block. We're gonna start out. We're gonna read. Uh, we're gonna start out Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse one. We're gonna read some law. It's gonna lead us into the dietary laws. Give all praises to the Most High, His only begotten Son, uh -huh. on this blessed Sabbath day that He has blessed us with. No doubt. No Hallelujah. doubt. No doubt. You know, you, I ain't got the tripod. Okay. Oh, it's on the first one. Yeah, it's gonna go. There's some things in here. It starts right out here. And we'll do it like every uh, 20, 25 minutes or so. 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, you know how to, you know how to pause and all that, don't you? Pause yeah, the white and button. then hit it again to start it. Yeah. And then the up arrow with the zoom in. Yeah. The back arrow. Last time I just got to start it. That's yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Well, we had Deuteronomy. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1. Let me read it. Deuteronomy chapter 14. All in the Bible. Shalom. Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. Ye are the children of the Most High your God. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the day. I see right here the Lord is telling us that we are his children. Right. And this is his instruction that he's telling us to do. Now in these last few years, meaning, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, you know, back in the days, we as black folks, we used to never get no tattoos. We used to never scar up our bodies or anything like that. That was not a thing that we was doing. It's a heathen custom. But since this new rap music with these new little young cats out here, now you see people with tattoos, and ain't nothing worse than seeing a woman in a dress with her body all marred up <laughs> with all these tattoos. He don't even look pretty no more. Flat out. He says here that ye should not make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. Right. We not supposed to. We got all these brothers and sisters out here. Rest in peace. Rest in peace this. Rest in peace little poo poo. Ray Ray. All this on their bodies. Right. And we not supposed to do that. For the dead. We're not supposed to do it, period. Right, RIP markings for the dead and all that. That's a heathen custom. That's what heathens do. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't assimilate it right into their culture. Verse 2. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh, the Lord thy God. And the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. And we all often run into people that say, no, not my guy, he don't choose difference between people and he love everybody. He says that ye are this people that I choose unto myself. He's talking about a particular people, yeah. not everybody. He ain't say color. He talking about people. He talking about a nation. Right. He say this people, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He has his chosen people. Like I say in that, uh, what is that, Psalms 147? Got it, right. Got it already. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Psalms 147, verse 18. Yeah. He sendeth out his word and melted them. He called us his wind to blow uh -huh. and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Mm his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Oh. He have not dealt so with any nation. He ain't did that with nobody else. The Romans, the Africans, the Arabs, uh, the so-called the so -called white folks, none of that. He chose Good you. Times. He chose the 12 tribes of Israel to give his inspired word to. And we all know the word was made flesh and the word that made flesh is the ascended Christ who sit upon the right hand of the Father yes, who soon will return and conquer the earth. So the word Christ was given to his people. No doubt, sister. The word or Christ who was made flesh was given to his people, the children of Israel. Not no Arabs like Muhammad. Muhammad is not no prophet of God. All the prophets of God were, to, were Israelites, Hebrew. He have not, verse 20. Yeah. He have not dealt so with any nation. Most I ain't dealt with no other nation like he deal with his people. Come on, Israel. And as for his judgments. Uh -huh. They have not known them. Yeah. Praise ye your house. See, praise ye the most high, the God of this Bible right here. So back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. 
for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Talking about us, his people. Verse 3. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. These are the beasts which ye shall eat. The ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the roebuck, and the fallow deer, and the wild goat, and the pie guard, and the wild ox, and the camorre, and ev or, or uh, pie guard is another word for bison, right. which meaning buffalo. Verse 6, and every beast that parteth the hoof and cleaveth the cliff into two claws and cheweth the cud amongst the beasts that ye shall eat. So right there he gives you specific. There is no second guessing. There is no uh, confusion to this. It says it must have these qualifications right. and these are what ye shall eat. Right, right. Those that say those it that chew with the cud, what not cud for When they say chew with the cud, cud is a process. Like a cow has four stomachs. It'll chew its food, swallow it, and then it'll regurgitate it and break it down more. And then it goes on all the way down through the digestive system. But it can't just be digested the first time. It, it's a process no. cud is that it has to be. It's not nothing that they eat. It's a process in which they break it down. It's a process in which they... they, they okay, go ahead, bro. See no four and 14. Then said I, O oh Lord God, behold, my soul has been, have not been polluted. For from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, uh. or is torn in pieces. Neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. No roadkill. Right. Said diet of itself or was torn in pieces. They have a law right now in this state of Illinois in which we are in that says now you can eat roadkill. So that means if you see a fresh possum, <laughs> a raccoon oh, that no. just got killed, if that's what's on your plate and on your menu, you can pick that up. <laughs> but what they trying to do is institute it for people who, if you hit a deer and you a hunter, you can take that deer with you. That's what they trying to do. That's what they doing. It's they always, just pass it into law. There's always a provision to go against the will of God. Exactly. Like All right, Deuteronomy 14. 14 verse 6. Now verse 7. Nevertheless, these ye shall not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the cloven hoof, as the camel, and the her, and the coney, for they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof. Therefore they are unclean unto you. There is no misunderstanding in that. That's direct. It says they chew the cud, but they don't have the cloven hoof. It's gotta have both, right. not either or. Here comes the big one. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Verse 8. Don't spill your coffee. Verse 8. Remember it said, these you shall not eat. Verse 8. And the swine. The uh, what? And the swine. Uh, or the pig. Because it divides the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Now, I got a partner of mine that tells me that he eats chitlins. And, but he said that he only eats them twice a year. I'm like, well, why do you only eat them twice a year? He said because they make his blood pressure go up. Oh, really? They give him headaches. I bet they do. He can only take it twice a year. And the two times they eat them twice a year is on this national day that we just passed yesterday, thanks taking when they are on the plates of black folks all over this country. Negro love is swine. And and, and and next month, that big Christmas dinner. The devil ham. That these things, <laughs> all these things that they saying they doing in God's name, eating a diet, they keep it, they keep it first of all, they keep it holidays that are not in the Bible. Right. And then they eating things which they shall not eat, but they doing this all in the name of the Lord. Right. 
Right. Taking his name in vain. I got another witness. This is Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profaned amongst them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. There you go, bro. That's it for that. Okay. I'll take over reading here. Okay. We had uh, verse 9, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 9. Uh. These shall so ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins. And scales, uh -huh. ye shall eat. So only the fishes that have fins and scales. Catfish doesn't have fins and scales. Shellfish don't have fins and scales. Boo boo shrimp don't have fins and scales. You see that? There's a big old boo boo vein in that shrimp too. That's why we call it boo boo shrimp. These are things that we are not to be eating according to the Bible. And no, it didn't change in the New Testament either. We're going to get that. That Timothy y'all love to go to. But you read it too fast. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> See that? Because you got him. You got, you, you got, you thought you read that Paul says you could eat pork. And he ain't on record nowhere in the Bible saying eat pork. Neither was Peter. <laughs> <laughs> neither, neither was Peter. The Lord didn't tell him to eat pork. Flat out. Verse 10. Yeah. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales, ye may not eat. Mm. It is unclean unto you. We ain't put no difference between the clean and unclean. It is unclean. And we wonder why we as a people suffer from all the diseases. High blood pressure, diabetes, trichinomous worms, uh, whatever it may be. Because we're putting things in our body that God say don't put in your body. But the pig meat eating preacher going to tell you it don't matter. Jesus died so you can eat swine. That's not in the Bible. No worries. Whenever I go to the doctor, they automatically assume the little nurse come in and she say, you got high blood pressure? No. You got you got uh, high cholesterol? No. no. Do you have this? No. Do you have, no. And they look at me just because I got a big stomach, think I'm a fat boy. Right. And, and that I'm just a greasy, just eat anything. And they look at me and wonder, I say, because I follow the dietary laws yeah. that the Lord has given us the best that I can is the reason why I don't have these problems. Right. Yeah. I have none of these afflictions. And they wonder why. But when you tell them that, they like, oh, okay, okay. Some know, some don't know. As exactly. soon as you go to the doctor, the first thing he tell you is what? Change your diet. Change your diet. So the doctor can tell you, but the most high can't tell you. The doctor gonna tell you, stay off the other white meat. <laughs> he gonna tell you that. <laughs> stay off the other white meat. You say, okay, doc, right. I'll take your prescription. I'll stay off the other white meat, but you won't listen to these words that's been established for thousands of years. Or they say, thousands. I can't give up my swine. I'll take the pills. Yeah. Check this out. Take all the other symptoms that come along with it. Isaiah 65, verse 3. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of bricks, uh. which remain among the graves uh. and lodge in the monuments, you masons, which eat swine's flesh uh. and broth and pieces of abominable things in their vessels, which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These or a smoke in my nose, in my a fire nose. that burneth all the, day. all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them all. 
and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. You see how this, this is still not just him giving us this dietary law, but it's something that don't go away. Yeah. It's something that has been a part of, of, of our, as a people, and our people, our forefathers, but it's still pertinent. Mm -hmm. It's still pertinent. And he say in that uh, Isaiah, that when he come back, he catch you eating it. Here we go, right here, I got it. You in trouble. Isaiah 66. Uh -huh. Isaiah 66, verse 15. Uh -huh. Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Most High will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right. They that sanctify themselves uh, and purify themselves and purify themselves uh, in the gardens behind one tree in the mist in the mist <laughs> eating swine's flesh what flesh eating <laughs> swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together saith the lord for i know their works and their thoughts it shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. That's right. That's future yeah. prophecy yeah. of what is going to come to pass yeah. in the Old Testament. Yeah. And even with Noah, when Noah was setting up the ark, he divided the animals from the clean animals from the unclean animals. Mm -hmm. So before even Moses got the law on the commandments, the law in the earth, there still was a law in the earth distinguishing clean animals from unclean animals. That's right. Even before he got the law on Mount Sinai. Even when he spared the world of the eight souls and the animals, he had more of the clean for us to be to reproduce, for us to use yeah. than the unclean. Yeah. And the unclean animals, it's not like he created something bad. It's just not to be eaten. Those unclean animals have a purpose. They have a purpose. They have a purpose, but they're not to be eaten. Nothing is unclean of itself. A pig ain't unclean to another pig. Right, right. But it's unclean to you right. if you eat it. And you wonder why that we lead in all these diseases. It's directly proportionate to what we put in our temples, man. You know See, what I'm saying? We wonder why. Why do black folks lead in all this? What the hell has you been standing around praying over? The biggest mystery is the fact that why is it that white folks can eat the same thing and don't have the same adverse effects? <laughs> right. Just where we right. just started out in verse one, right. the most high say, D you are my people. Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. are instructions for us as a people. As if he don't know what he's talking about. He designed you. Yeah. Well, how the most high don't a, know what a, what to put in your bodies or something as if he off or something. That's, but a, you, that's ahead, an bro. excellent point. My bad, bro. That's an excellent point what he just made. Like Idumians, Edomites, <laughs> white people don't have the same ailments and they eat the same thing. Yep. They roast if not, the hog. Hey, if not worse than if you. If not right. worse. I'm gonna eat blood and all that. Exactly. They, they eat everything. raw flesh, steak tartare, yeah. Look, hamburger, raw hamburger on crackers. Yeah, they be yeah. on In that. Germany, they yeah. eat raw hamburger on crackers like we eat tuna fish and crackers. In, in the United States, the heathen I work with do that. The heathen I work with eat some raw hamburger or some crackers. You want some, dude? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want none of that, man. I don't want none of that. <laughs> I'll be out here sick for years. For years. That's an excellent point, though. Yeah, that is an excellent point because you as a people was never supposed to do that. And it also proves that we are all not one people. Because how can one people eat something and you can't eat it? Right. Think about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's the reason why we lead in all these ailments, man, because we have gotten away from the dietary law of our God. And when we get old in life, it causes major problems. Major. Man. See, instead of us as a people teaching the world to do what they're supposed to do like we're supposed to, we come in and assimilate unto their ways. Right. Now, you got Negroes eating steak medium rare. Yeah. You know, knowing that that's not how we ate. Our teeth can't even chew medium right. rare. Bro, I'm talking about he, he, wanna, he like his steak a little bloody. Right. Like, 
Boy, you was a Negro of. heathen. That is unheard of for us as a people. But just like we do, we go after them yeah. instead of them coming after us. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and the last thing I want to say about this is that a lot of our people use the excuse that this is the stuff that we was fed when we were slaves. Yeah. You're not a slave no more. You have a freedom to choose. You have a freedom to go in that schnooks right there and buy what you want to eat. Exactly. You still choose this. You still choose this. When you grow up and you still choose to eat it, there's a difference you being fed it from your parents, but yeah. now you are grown and right. have that choice to go. Right. I got a witness on that for y'all. Jeremiah, chapter 2. Oh, man. Verse 19. It's about, it's about to go down. <laughs> about Thine to go. own wickedness shall correct thee, uh. and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore, and see that it is an evil thing and bitter, that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God. It's an evil and bitter thing that you done went away from your God. That's right. Evil, bitter. It ain't nothing to be taken lightly. Come on, brother. And that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord God of hosts. Uh. For of old time have I broken thy yoke and burst thy bane. Uh -huh. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. Right. When upon every high hill and under every green tree. What kind of tree? Every green tree. And like your Christmas tree, come on. Thou wanderest playing the harlot. Playing what? Playing the harlot. The Most I call it spiritual whores when we go against him. Spiritual whores, harlots. Not to get mad at us, it's just what it is. First Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, That's right. I put away childish things. That's right. So we can't say that. We can't say, you know, when we used to do it like this or we used to do it like that. When I was a child, I used to go to go to the bathroom on myself. Do I still do that? No. No, I do not. So no. when I was a child, I did things that was against God. Now that I'm a man, we got to put away childish things. That's right. And that's according to the Bible. Come on, brother. Verse right. 21. Yeah. Yet I planted thee a noble vine. Most high God said he planted his people, the so-called Negro in America, a noble vine. Ye are a holy people unto your God. Your God is in his Bible right here. Come on, brother. Holy a right seed. Uh-huh. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? See, you're not a noble vine anymore. You're a degenerate plant. Something that's rejected because we done put away the commandments of our God. They'll tell you tomorrow you don't got to keep the commandments of God. That is a lie. Ball face. Jesus Christ did not come and die so you can be lawless. Right. And do whatever you want. That's a lie. That's right. Christ say walk as a new man. Right. You see that? Put off the old man and his works. If he came and lived and died and rose three days later and ascended back into heaven and sent us at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Why would he come here and leave us in this position? Why did he come and take sin out of the world then? Right. Why did he come and say, okay, I forgive y'all for everything. Now I'm going to make it right. Why are we still left in this condition? We still got work to do. It's more than just believing on John 3, 16. Right. It's got conditions to that. He gave us this instructions. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Why did he leave us like this? And we still suffering. We still suffering as a people. Everywhere, everywhere you look. We are the only ones that are suffering. Everybody else, for some people, this is their heaven right now. He told us to live for the world to come, right. not for this world. Exactly. That's why we still suffer. That's why we still suffer as a people. If we woke up as a people, the world would be over. Verse 22, for thou, for though thou wast thou with not